Aha! There you are. Good to see you. Your appointment with Sangonomiya is fast approaching. We should get going. Are you ready? We'll start by heading to the camp on Watatsumi Island, and then we'll go meet Her Excellency together from there. If you start to feel seasick at any point during the trip, let me know straight away. That said, you've spent time with the Crux fleet in the past, so I think you'll probably be fine. Ready? And away we go! Here we are, the training grounds for Watatsumi Island's troops. Right now, the resistance is predominantly made up of local soldiers from Watatsumi Island. Some of them are fighting with the Shogun's army in Tatarasuna, and some of them are stationed here on the island to keep the locals safe. Did you used to train here too? Yep. Unfortunately, I had to join the fight in Tatarasuna before I'd had the chance to impress the instructors, so they had me start off by helping in the logistics division. I'll be staying here for now. If you need me for anything, just come here. If I'm not around, just write a note and stick it on the wall. As soon as I see it, I'll come find you. Shoot! It's nearly time for the appointment with Her Excellency. Uh, I'll have to show you around Watatsumi Island some other time. For now, let's get ourselves over to Sangonomiya. Food supplies are the absolute top priority, period. We cannot afford any losses. With the conflict between us and the Shogun's army getting more intense by the day, we must prioritize the stability of the rear guard. Understood. I will think of a way. Take heart. We have a fresh batch of supplies in hand, and I'm working on expanding the army. I appreciate that the lack of manpower has been hard on all of you, but things are going to get better. We're expanding the army? Oh, that's great. Whoever this mystery supporter is, they're doing us a great service. Huh? Tepe, what are you doing back on Watatsumi Island? Might I ask who? <laughs> VIP guests of Her Excellency, that's who. I'm acting under orders to escort them both here. Oh, really? Wait, so are you the new recruit everyone's been talking about? Strength of 20 men, splits an arrow in twain from a hundred paces, skin as hard as diamond. That's you? Seriously? What is going on with these rumors? You've come a long way. I'm sure you must be here on pressing business, so I won't disturb you any further. Feel free to visit me if you have any time to spare. Your Excellency, I'll take my leave. Your Excellency, I couldn't help but overhear Okubo mention something about... a third-party supporter? What was that about? Not long ago, someone wrote to me saying that they wished to support the Watatsumi Island Resistance effort. To that end, they also furnished us with a great deal of supplies. Thanks to them, we can finally start recruiting troops on the scale we need to openly confront the Shogun's army on the front line. I am not without my doubts. But Watatsumi Island is hardly affluent, and these supplies are a much-needed lifeline for us. The sender's conditions were also reasonable. They simply ask us to dedicate ourselves fully to fighting against the Shogun's army. Whatever other motives they may have, we are at least aligned on this. So let's consider them an anonymous ally. Naturally, we shouldn't let our guard down. If you discover anything out of the ordinary, please report it to me at once. Your Excellency, does this mean that the food at the front line is going to get any better? I was at the field hospital the other day, and everyone was begging for some barbecued meat. <laughs> Don't worry. I've already made arrangements for that. Everyone will have their fill of meat, but to be clear, still no alcohol. That's fantastic! I understand how hard it's been on everyone. The Resistance Army's rations have barely changed at all since the Vision Hunt Decree was first announced. I will discuss this with the Logistics Division to see what further improvements can be made. However, our supplies are still limited. I must ask you to remain patient until victory is ours. When will the Vision Hunt Decree finally end? That's the question. And I'm afraid I don't have an answer. The mere existence of the Vision Hunt Decree is baffling. The Tenryo Commission's attitude just doesn't seem to add up. And neither does the Shogun's. The Tenryo Commission's zealous support for the Decree seems to come out of nowhere. And the Shogun seems completely indifferent to the fact that it has effectively caused a civil war. I suspect the Vision Hunt Decree won't end until these mysteries are solved. 
All I can say for certain is that as long as the Vision Hunt Decree remains in force, we will never give up our fight. Traveler, to confirm, knowing the current situation facing Watatsumi Island and the Resistance, are you still willing to fight with us? Good. Then here is your assignment. I hereby appoint you as Captain of the Watatsumi Island Special Operations Unit, Swordfish 2. Whoa, whoa, what? Swordfish 2? Is this the same Swordfish Special Ops Unit that I'm thinking of? It's hard enough getting into a Special Ops Unit at the bottom rung, let alone jumping the Captain in one fell swoop. This is incredible. Although this appointment breaks with convention, I firmly believe that with your wisdom, courage, and strength, you can lead your team to victory. Great! So when do we take up our post? The members of Swordfish 2 are currently on standby in a valley to the southwest. Ronin have been causing trouble down there lately, and we need a special operations unit to eliminate them and stabilize the rear guard. I have already written your appointment letter, which you'll need to show them on arrival. Once that's out of the way, please lead them in ridding the area of Ronin. The special ops unit comprises Watatsumi Island's elite soldiers. They can be a little rough around the edges, but I have every confidence that you will win their trust. Um, what about me, Your Excellency? Any battles you need me to get involved in? I want to make a contribution to the Resistance too. Of course. I'll arrange something and brief you shortly. All right! One successful operation coming right up! <laughs> You may have swiped the captaincy of Swordfish 2, but watch this space, cause this guy's on his way up! Okay, sure! Well, be careful out there! Don't push yourself too hard! Well, Traveler, let's move out! Ah, you must be the new captain of Swordfish 2. Her Excellency briefed us in advance. Your reputation precedes you, and the appointment letter is all in order. But I still have my doubts. Hmm? About what? I'll be straight with you. I want to know whether you have what it takes to lead us. You mean, like, a duel? Normally, a duel would be the quickest way to settle the question. But this time, we've got a better way. We're stationed here because of all the ruining causing trouble in these parts. If you can get rid of them for us, we'll take that as a measure of your strength. All right, let's show them what you're made of. Okay, seems like you can hold your own. The rumors are exaggerations, of course, but still, your abilities are admirable. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Kutoku, acting captain of Swordfish 2. This is Yoshihisa, a fellow veteran of the team. I now formally cede the position of captain to you. Swordfish 2 awaits your orders. There are two hard-hit areas. This was one of them, but thanks to you, this area is now secure. Their only remaining stronghold is located at the shallows on the east side of the island. That said, the ones over there are tougher, and there's more of them. You got that right! Watatsumi Island is busy fighting the Shogun's army on the front line! We can't let these guys mess up things at the rear! There's so many of them! That's not even all of them. They have two more camps nearby. Whichever camp we attack, it's the Ronin in the other two camps that'll cause us issues. They might decide to provide backup, or abandon them and escape on their own. But Captain, that would put you in great danger. If we spread our troops too thin, we won't have enough men to guard you. It's too risky. Yep, the Traveler eats amateurs like these for breakfast. All right then. We'll deal with them all in one go, and rendezvous with you on completion. That should be the last of them. You didn't get hurt, did you? Cool. Hmm. Paima wonders how everything is going with Kotoku and Yoshihisa. Should we go over and check on them? Captain! Captain, the other two camps have been cleared. The entire rear guard of Watatsumi Island is now secure. <sighs> we solved the Ronin problem and got everyone to look up to us, too. Um, but what's next? Let's go back and check with Kokumi. Finally, we got it done. 
These Ronin have been bugging me for ages, but Kotoku wouldn't let us at them until now. What? No way could you have taken them down without the new captain here. I was putting the safety of the team first, got it? <laughs> oh, come on. You were just being a coward. Hey, cut the attitude! These guys, honestly. Forget them, let's go! How was it? Did your initiation go smoothly? <laughs> I'm sure you're playing it down a little. Kotoku and the others put you through your paces, I presume. But with your level of ability, I'm sure it was a walk in the park. Since you're back, I take it that the Ronin are now gone from Watatsumi Island? You bet! We sure showed them who's boss! Good. Now we just need to make sure Okubo keeps a close watch to prevent their resurgence. Thank you. I believe in rewarding merit, so you will be compensated for your hard work. Um... Let me see... Hmm... Too soon for another promotion, I think. Hmm... I could increase your pay... I gave him an assignment. He's taking part in a surprise attack against the Shogun's Navy. He expressed a desire to be on the front line, so I honored his wishes. Now, speaking of assignments, I have a special mission I'd like to give you. A special mission? Yes. In between Watatsumi Island and Tarasuna, there are some ruins relating to a god who fell in the Archon War. There are several small islands there, often used as a transit point when transporting supplies. Recently, however, supplies stored there have started to go missing for no obvious reason. Stranger still, the Resistance Army passed by and reported they found no signs of danger. I'd like to task you with getting to the bottom of this. It's not urgent, so there is no need to leave immediately. I suggest you take a few days to familiarize yourselves with the army, and also with Watatsumi Island. When Tepe returns, you can catch up with him. Then pick a day when the weather is good to set sail for the islands. Is Tepe really gonna be okay? He has a tendency to dive into action without thinking things through. Oh, Paimon can't help but feel a little worried about him. Oh, why don't we go wait for him at the training grounds? Long time no see! So, how's Swordfish 2 treating you? Getting along okay with everyone? <laughs> well, you're in luck, because this seasoned veteran's got a few leadership tips for you. Raising their pay will boost morale, while giving them a few bounties will act as an incentive to go the extra mile. It's also important to maintain strict discipline at all times, and finally... Uh, wait, what was it? What was it? Wow, where'd you learn all that, Tepe? I read it in a novel from the Yai Publishing House. It was a long time ago. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many doggo it took to convince my friend to let me borrow it. You're seriously gonna use a novel to tell people how to run an army? Pretty sure that's called being an armchair general. Ha <laughs> ha! That's where you underestimate me. That's right, I'm learning military management on the job now. Just like you. You'd better believe it. Thanks to my outstanding achievements in the recent naval battle, I have officially been made the captain of my very own special operations unit. It's a brand new unit, Herring One. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? I spoke to Her Excellency, and she says our uniforms are in production. Let's go collect them together once they're ready. Oh, I can't wait to put them on. We're really gonna look the part. Ah! <laughs> Everything's going great. Our mystery sponsor supplies have really helped turn things around. Will Paimon get a uniform, too? Of course. You're a recognized member of the Watatsumi Island Resistance. Yippee! Captain, a new assignment has come in. Thank you, soldier. I'll be there on the double. All right, I'd better go. <laughs> See you again soon. You'd better watch out, partner. At the rate I'm going, I'll overtake you if you're not careful. Ha! In your dreams, mister! I wouldn't be so confident if I were you. I'm at the top of my game right now. This is my time to shine. Paimon's so surprised that Tepe's been made a platoon captain. 
He must have been working super hard. Let's take a break, then go check out these Archon War Ruins. Phew! Glad that's over. As monsters go, that one was pretty tough. Um, but what's such a huge Thunderhelm Lodge Earl, doing here in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Also, the atmosphere here? Guess I'm on the creeps. Anyway, the good thing is that it's over now. We should probably get going. Uh-huh. Tepe, what are you doing here? <coughs> wow, this is a surprise. I didn't know you were the ones investigating here. I just got back from delivering some supplies to the front line. I figured I'd stop by and clear any threats in this area on the way back. <coughs> are you all right there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worse for wear. I'm fine. It's nothing. I must have caught a cold a couple of days ago while I was out at sea. On my way past, I heard that someone had just arrived on the island to investigate, so I thought I'd come and take a look. If there'd been some real danger, I might have had the chance to be the hero. <laughs> Shame it was just you guys. I guess I came here for nothing. Pepe, don't you think there's something strange about this place? Hmm. Now that you mention it, <laughs> there is something a little off about it. It could be that the Tatarigami is more palpable here, I guess. We're not that far away from Horobashi's remains. Horobashi? Who's that? A god. Look, there's the corpse over there. Ah, it's a gigantic snake skeleton! Oh, it looks terrifying! Horobashi was the one who brought our ancestors from Menkanomiya up to the surface. That's the origin of the Watatsumi Island you know today. Our ancestors regarded it as a guardian deity, but during the Archon War, Orobashi invaded Yashiori Island. The Raiden Shogun came out in person and slew Orobashi with the Muso no Hitotachi. That same slash also formed what later became known as Musojin Gorge. The Raiden Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one slash? Wow, that's pretty incredible! Yes, but the Archon War was brutal. <coughs> and Yashiori Island was completely destroyed during that battle. They say the Shogun lost something very dear to her along the way, too. Since Orobashi's death, there has always been <coughs> some animosity between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate, but our different beliefs have nothing to do with why the Resistance was formed. We only rose up to fight against the Vision Hunt Decree. When Orobashi attacked civilization, the Shogun stood up and put a stop to it. But now that the Shogun is stripping people of their ambitions with the Vision Hunt Decree, it's time for someone to stand up and stop the Shogun. <coughs> Alright, I'm heading back. I was just dealing with some of the Shogun's elite samurai, so I think I'm gonna take a quick breather, and it's on to my next assignment. You should report back to Sangonomiya as soon as possible. Don't stay here longer than you need to. Being around the Tatarigami too long won't do your health any good. <coughs> hey, don't worry about me. Peak condition. Tepe sure made some big progress if he's already dealing with Shogunate Samurai. Paimon can hardly believe it. Let's report back to Kokomi. Kokomi, we're back! Oh, look, Goro's here too! Uh, what happened? They look so serious. Approximately how many people are exhibiting these symptoms? I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. Kokomi, Goro, uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt Decree. They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. So that's why the war has been going unusually well. But risky secret weapons are not the answer. We must put a stop to it immediately. Goro, have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? <sighs> 
most of the officers refused to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Do you know something about this? So that means our secret sponsor is the Fatui? But why would the Fatui do this? Uh, forget that. There's no time. Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms... No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him. Pepe! Oh. <coughs> hey, guys. What are you doing here? Just a moment. Let me, let me get up. Ugh. It's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. Fighting <coughs> the Shogun's army at sea, taking on Shogunate Samurai all by myself, rescuing my comrades from, from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. The stronger I am, the more I can do for the resistance. Wait a sec. Where's my secret weapon gone? Um... <coughs> it wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these... mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me, and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, his secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. Delusion. <coughs> oh, God. Doesn't sound very good. So, what's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? Huh. <coughs> Gosh. Well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of unknown origins would come with its risks. I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days, and I have this strange sense of dread. At first, I'd find I was a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. But today, I, I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Hey. Would you do something for me? When our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here and, <coughs> and we can change together. What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be right as rain. Right as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've rested up. Pepe! How's Tepe's condition? I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the ban, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but... They still intend to keep using them. Okay. I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? No, it's too dangerous. The Sakoku Decree is still in force. 
so their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. <laughs> it's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded, but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places meet these criteria, and if we take the locations where our soldiers receive their delusions into account as well, I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs, near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. I'm not going to stop you, but please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you, too. Huh? You mean, to the Delusion Factory? Really? You aren't gonna think it over first? Ugh, fine. You actually managed to find this place. Congratulations. So, you're another Fatui Harbinger? Like Senora and Child? Senora and Child. <laughs> I didn't know you and my two least reliable colleagues were acquainted. I'm the Balladeer. Number six of the Fatui Harbingers. Delighted to meet you, oh mighty traveler. So many visitors today. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, so that's what this is about. I think you've got the wrong idea. I know how this looks, but I'm just here to follow orders. I'm obviously not the mastermind behind this. Aren't you supposed to be pretty tough? What are you waiting for? Go get them. You're getting all worked up over nothing. <sighs> Didn't have you down as being so weak. How can you call it anything more? It's the way of the world. Human life is worthless. They were always going to die, with or without a delusion. At least having one gives them a chance to fulfill their ambitions. Do you have any idea how useful the vision hunt decree is to us? It took a lot of work to make it happen. Obviously, it was in our best interests. Good news is, our hard work is finally paying off. Generating conflict creates a big market for delusions. Now we just let the promise of power draw in the weak. For just a small price, they get the feeling of controlling the world. Trading their life for supreme power. Pretty good deal, don't you think? So, the Fatui started the vision hunt decree? You've been behind it all along? From the outside, Inazuma looks pretty impenetrable. But on the inside, it's a land of opportunity. With a little effort, we were able to break them down from within. Eternity stretches things out over a long time, but each moment within it becomes all the more fragile. Take your friend in the Resistance, for example. There's nothing you can do now. He's a lost cause. Just like a bubble on the water. Beautiful for a moment and total destruction. The more it takes from them, the more tightly they hold on to it. And the more incompetent they are, the more determined they are to fight it. <laughs> it's such a farce. You have to see the funny side. Hey, calm down! Oh, uh, no! <laughs> 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 That's it. 
Just like that. Embrace the anger. Embrace it! The wrath of the gods fills this factory, and it feeds on your anger. <laughs> What's happening? Repeat after me. Three, two, one. One, two, three. <sighs> Come on. Oh, you recognize me right away. Your brain seems relatively unscathed. This is good news. It's just as well, really, with the amount of effort it took me to get you back here. Honestly, it was like you were glued to the ground back there. about something. Uh, how come you're acting so differently from when we first met you? Am I? Maybe it's because I had the other shrine maidens leave. Anyway, I've always been like this. People show you whatever side of themselves they want you to see. I know this for a fact. Every side of me is the real me. People just like to define things in all sorts of arbitrary ways. This is a human society, <sighs> at the moment anyway, and I'm just doing as I please. Uh, Paimon didn't quite follow. <laughs> Study humans a while longer, my little friend. You'll see what I mean. Right! Paimon was so focused on the Traveler that Paimon didn't notice what you did to get Scaramouche off our backs! What if I told you it was a secret art from the Grand Narukami Shrine, and that I had the Balladeer down on his knees, begging for mercy in an instant? Would you believe me? <laughs> well, maybe you should be worrying less about that, and more about how exactly you're going to thank me, no? Hmm, maybe some of your neural circuitry is less intact than I thought. I didn't mean you had to be so formal about it. I need your actions, not your words. <laughs> hmm. The delusions. They're still on your mind, aren't they? You needn't worry. The leader of Watatsumi Island took some troops to clear the place out. She's also issued a strict ban on the use of delusions across the whole army. With their stronghold exposed, I doubt the Balladeer is stubborn enough to try and retaliate now on his colleague's behalf. It would be more trouble than it's worth. Ah, oh, I must say, I would relish the opportunity to watch the Fatui getting a taste of their own medicine. Well, anyway, that's Ngonomiya Kokomi. She really outdid herself this time. I'd love to have another chat with her again in person, but alas... Belief systems can be such a hindrance sometimes. A hindrance? Should you really be saying that as the Gucci of the Grand Shrine? Anyway, I'm only telling you this to stop you worrying so that you can focus on something I need you to do for me. You've met her, right? I'm not talking about the puppet. I mean her. You've met her, yes? Yes, the true Raiden Shogun, who meditates endlessly in the plane of Euthymia to preserve her being. Her name is A. Are you saying that the one we met at the ceremony was just a puppet? And the real Raiden Shogun is the one that the Traveler met later? And does that mean that when the battlefield changed, so did the opponent? <sighs> because this is the Raiden Shogun's eternity. Before pursuing the eternity of her nation, she had to reach eternity for herself. Since the physical body will eventually turn to dust, she replaced hers with that of a puppet. And since the spirit is susceptible to erosion, she placed her consciousness inside her sword, where she remains in a meditative state, free from all disturbances. So, that place that she carved open with her sword... The plane of Euthymia. Essentially, the world inside her mind. A place that typically only allows her existence. 
she shuts herself off in her inner world, leaving all the affairs of the outside world to be dealt with by a puppet, who has a singular focus on the pursuit of eternity. Huh. This is the approach A has come up with for realizing eternity. You mean Morax? Hmm, it's been a while since I last saw him. A surprising decision by Liuez Archon. What a fascinating god he is. It seems like the Raiden Shogun's approach solves the problem Zhang Li was facing, though. <laughs> Perhaps. Or you could take the view that she's acting like a little child, throwing a temper tantrum and locking herself in her room. Don't you think? The grand notion of eternity she once held has long since given way to the eternity of her own definition. And ultimately, her eternity is defined by fear. The fear of loss. The truth is, we are on the same side. You want to save the people of Inazuma from the Vision Hunt Decree. So do I. The only difference is that I'd rather like to save this nation and save A while we're at it. The key is that the Plane of Euthymia represents A's inner world. Defeat her there, and you may well have the chance to shake the Raiden Shogun's will. So this is your plan? To abolish the Vision Hunt Decree? Not by talking her out of it, or through an armed resistance, but by, uh, hopping inside the Raiden Shogun's inner world? You're a fast learner. In short, this is the last chance to get Inazuma back on track. Otherwise, an eternity of darkness awaits. Don't you realize how special you are? Remember, the plane of Euthymia is a space where only she is allowed to exist. The fact that you could appear there tells us one crucial thing. That you have piqued her interest. Perhaps it's because... She has never seen an individual who is so unpredictable in the face of eternity. Has no one else ever been in there? None. No one has seen the devotee of eternity since she shut herself away. In fact, no one even knows what it looks like in there. Your existence is more than just an opportunity. It's the very key to all of this. To that I say... Well done, child. You did not disappoint me after all. Wait, you're leaving? Where are you going? Anti Raiden Shogun training. I've prepared a special program just for you. Come along. We're gonna do it here? Uh, and what's this mechanism for? Think of it as a catalyst that can reproduce the Raiden Shogun's combat moves. I made it from my own memory, which means it should be perfectly accurate. <laughs> Unless, of course, her skills have declined. It'll give you a chance to figure out her moves in advance and come up with a counter-strategy. That should be a big help, don't you think? The aim is to try to not get hit by the attacks. Since you've escaped certain death at her hand once already, I presume this shouldn't be more than you can handle. <sighs> what a workout! So how come you know so much about the Raiden Shogun? Hmm? You mean me? Hmm, perhaps it's because I'm the Electro Archon servant. What? Like Devalin is to Barbados? Huh. Never would have guessed by looking at you. <laughs> it sounds like you'd be more persuaded if you saw me in my fox form. Hmm? In your dreams. Huh. More curious than my appearance is the fact that she and I don't see each other anymore, wouldn't you say? A nation to last for all eternity is a dream that she and I both share. Hmm, but I don't think that's the same thing as complete stasis. At some point, she started going down a path that became increasingly difficult for me to join her on. You know, A never said goodbye to me before she stepped into the plain of Euthymia. Perhaps it's just my wishful thinking, but I think she did this deliberately, as her way of keeping our friendship eternal. By neither saying goodbye nor seeing me again, our relationship will remain forever how it was. In her mind, at least. 
Since we've embarked on two very different paths to eternity, I can either continue to maintain the status quo or do whatever it takes to bring her back on track, regardless of the cost. I have chosen the latter because... if stubbornly isolating herself in the plane of Euthymia is her idea of eternity, then my duty as her eternal servant is to drag her back out of her own head and into the real world. Aw, Miko, you sound like a really great friend. <laughs> I'm only telling you this so you can properly understand my plan. Could you possibly spare the sentimentality for the time being? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. Time for anti raiden Shogun training phase two. There's a part two? We're finally done! How did we do? You did quite admirably. I could see your determination and your hard work. So, do you think we're ready to beat the Raiden Shogun now? How do I put this? You're no match for her at all. Wait, what? So all of this was a complete waste of time? <laughs> you are the most important part of the plan. I know what I'm doing. You don't think I'd leave you with no chance to win at all, do you? Speaking of... Traveler, what do you think of the Resistance Army's chances? <laughs> You're absolutely right. Perhaps they occasionally best the Shogun's army in open battle. But when they face the Raiden Shogun herself... Considering even their visions have been taken from them and embedded in the statue... They're ultimately quite helpless. You don't have to be so blunt. The Traveler's the captain of Swordfish, too, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to belittle them. On the contrary. It is precisely because of their helplessness, because their visions have been taken from them, that their will is all the more precious. In short, if everything goes according to plan, they may yet prove to be helpful. Oh, goodness. Is that the time? I have another guest to receive today. We can talk more back at the Grand Narukami Shrine. All of this said you're entertaining guests? <sighs> Hyman's really struggling to understand how you work. Okay, we can talk here. You asked me about the plan. In fact, I've been mulling it over for quite a long time. Before one makes a plan, what is the most important thing one must do? Huh, don't know. Uh, what is it? You must understand the situation you are facing. The Vision Hunt Decree was obviously devised as a means of manipulating the Shogun. The ones behind it knowing full well her susceptibility as a puppet, with a single-minded focus on eternity. Yes, this is the strongest piece of evidence we have to go on. Now, we also know that every aspect of the Vision Hunt Decree's promulgation and execution has been enthusiastically spearheaded by the Tenryo Commission from the outset. Ayaka was saying that every time they submitted a petition against the Vision Hunt Decree, the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions would veto it straight away with no negotiation. Yes, it's all too clear that both the Tenryo and Kanjo Commissions are in some form of collusion with the Fatui. <sighs> Foolish humans, blinded by their greed. Thus, the current situation is that our Fatui antagonist is still at large, has the two rogue commissions wrapped around their finger, and is distributing delusions from the shadows. Unfortunately, given that said antagonist is under the protection of two commissions and the Raiden Shogun, we would be rather hard-pressed to track them down. So, what should we do? It will be easier for us to start with someone from Inazuma, so my plan is... to incite rebellion in the Tenryo Commission. Rebellion? What are you talking about? After everything you just said, it sounds like the Tenryo Commission has rebelled already! <laughs> when I say rebellion, I don't mean betraying the Shogunate. I mean, inciting a certain someone to betray the Tenryo Commission. 
If we manage to convince her, I'm quite sure we'll be able to get you another audience with the Raiden Shogun. I'll give you a clue. She's currently in charge of the Shogun's army, she visits the shrine at this time every month, and she is our guest today. She also appears to be standing right behind you. Don't move a muscle! You've got some nerve showing up here in the shrine when there's an active warrant for your arrest! Don't even think about trying anything. Surrender now! You're coming with me to headquarters. Seize him! Affirmative! Ah! Kujusara! Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh. it seems that you're forgetting. This is the Grand Narukami Shrine. Use of force here is strictly forbidden. Before you proceed, which of you would like to face criminal charges for dishonoring the Shogun, hmm? Ugh! Gujiai! Please tell me you are not sheltering a wanted criminal here. We are just friends. I don't see what sheltering has to do with it. Tell your subordinates to leave. We have things to discuss. All of you outside! As you wish. Gujiai, I'm a little curious. Does it not also dishonor the Shogun to hide a wanted criminal at her grand shrine? <laughs> You're the same as ever, Kujosara. No one can match you when it comes to loyalty to the Shogun. As a servant, loyalty to the Shogun is my duty. And as a warrior, I dedicate my life to following the way of the Shogun. Even though she will one day... seize your vision, too? The Vision Hunt Decree is the Shogun's chosen course, and I shall not question it. Oh, it's tragic. Such wholehearted devotion rendered meaningless by circumstance. Have you been kept in the dark? Or are you the only one left in the light? Lady Guji, I need you to be direct. Tell me exactly what you mean. The Vision Hunt Decree is a trap. Part of a Fatui plot to bring Inazuma to its knees. And your masters, the Kujo clan of the Tenryo Commission, they're the ones keeping the truth from reaching the Shogun. You're saying the Kujo clan... betrayed the Shogunate? Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Guji Yai, your allegation is not only dangerous, but ridiculous. The Tri Commission has served the Shogun since ancient times, and remains absolutely loyal to this day. Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, I have seen and heard nothing but pure devotion toward the Shogun. At every level of the Tenryo Commission, especially from the head of the clan, Kujo Takayuki. He reveres the Muso no Hitotachi more than anyone. My own respect for the Shogun pales in comparison to his. How could he ever even dream of acting against the Shogun? Three days. Come back here in three days and I will show you the evidence. As a Guji, there's one thing I know very well. People believe whatever they want to believe. Some things you do not see, simply because you do not wish to look. And so, it falls to me to place the truth before your eyes, in all its ugliness. Hmm. Three days? I'll be here. But if I don't see any evidence, I will demand a formal apology for slandering the Kujo clan. Also, he will have to come with me. Wonderful. Then I'll see you in three days. I look forward to it very much. That was so scary! Paima wasn't expecting to run into Kujosara here. But, Miko... You mentioned evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Is that all in hand and good to go, or...? Why are you always asking so many questions? Of course not. I just had to say something because I clearly wasn't convincing her. <sighs> not entirely unexpected. As plans go, changing the deity's mind is a huge gamble to begin with. We can't expect to be in control of every last detail when we're facing off against a god, can we? Okay, but what are we gonna do, though? We only have three days! If we want to get our evidence, we're going to need some help. Now, come with me. We must awaken the professional. Ah! That 
toy Tanuki just turned into a human! <sighs> What's going on? Hyman's never seen one of these before! Mm, not a Tanuki. I'm a Muchina. <sighs> <sighs> I'm so tired. If I don't get enough sleep, it'll stunt my growth. Um, is this the professional you were talking about? <laughs> she doesn't look very professional at all. <laughs> she is a member of the Shiumatsuban, a genuine bona fide ninja. Wow, a ninja? So was that one of those legendary ninja transformation techniques? Uh, anyway, what's the Shumatsuban? It belongs to the Yashiro Commission, a secret unit under Kamisato Ayato. Now, Kamisato Ayato and the Yashiro Commission are neutral parties, so I have no right to give orders to the Shumatsuban. However, convincing their most chronically lazy member to help us is well within my abilities. Uh -huh. Here's what I need you to do. Go into town and find evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. It would not be appropriate for me to be seen there myself. You make it sound so simple, but... Hmm? Oh, I thought you would have figured it out by now. All right then. I'll indulge you with a little more information. For a complete outsider, probing the inner workings of the Tenryo Commission is nigh on impossible. But since the three commissions work together to serve the Shogun, they have a close relationship. Someone from one of the other commissions might have an easier job of figuring out what they're up to. <laughs> now you're following me. The Shogun's army haven't given up on their search for you yet, but with the help of this Shiu Matsuban ninja, I'm sure you'll be able to rendezvous with your friends. Don't forget, we're on a tight schedule here. Be sure to bring back the evidence in good time. What brings you here? Did you meet with the Resistance? How's the battle going? Is it safe for me to come out yet? Not just yet. We saw people patrolling on our way here. So, it's still not over. I guess you came here because you have something to discuss? I'll get someone to call for Miss Kamisato. Bear with me for one second. I see. You have been through a lot since we last met. I understand. You need evidence of the Tenryo Commission's betrayal. Let me think. Now that you mention it, there is one thing that has always concerned me. The Shogun's army has been at war with the Resistance for a long time now, but not once has the Shogun ever inquired about it. I used to think that she simply didn't care, but looking at it now, perhaps the problem all along has been with the Tenryo Commission's reports to the Shogun. Uh, what do you mean? The Tenryo Commission presides over domestic military affairs. If they ever had any intention of concealing information in their reports, we would have no way of knowing. Meanwhile, the Shogun would incorrectly conclude that the Vision Hunt Decree poses no threat and would stick to her decision. If we had access to their reports, it would confirm everything. But as I recall, the only person authorized to access that kind of official documentation is Kujo Takayuki. It's heavily guarded too. Even with Sayu's help, swiping a document from under their noses is no easy task. If only there was a way we could distract the guards just for long enough. Hmm. Uh, Yoimiya's fireworks! That's a very Toma-sounding suggestion. But it's a reasonable one. The statue of the Omnipresent God is right by the Tenryo Commission. If someone set off fireworks near the statue, they certainly wouldn't ignore it. While they were preoccupied with that, Sayu could infiltrate the Tenryo Commission and take the report, as well as any other evidence she might find. Great! It feels like I'm getting closer and closer to being a free man again. <sighs> it feels like it's been an eternity since we last sat down and talked like this. 
Well, it certainly felt like it to me. I've been looking forward to seeing you again every day since I got here. This tea house used to be my favorite hiding place, but now I've honestly lost track of how long it's been since I last set foot outside of here. Oh man, I want to go to the hot spring so badly. Uh, poor Toma. Let's focus on the issue at hand. The sooner the Vision Hunt decree is abolished, the sooner Toma will be free. This was a reunion of sorts, but there's no time to catch up. We'll celebrate properly when it's all over. Ooh, let's play the hot pot game again. You're still thinking about that? The Tenryo Commission is heavily guarded. Be careful when you get near. Let's meet back here afterwards. Alright, first let's go to Hanamizaka to find Yoimiya. Yoimiya, we need an extra large firework. The super duper big kind. Extra large firework? <laughs> you sure came to the right person. As it happens, I made this really souped up one just a couple days ago. But it's so powerful that I haven't found anywhere I can test it out yet. Huh, may as well give it to you. Let me know how it turns out. Don't forget, move well away from it after you light the fuse, and uh, try to avoid burning your clothes. Also, it's best that you cover your ears. Uh, uh, why does Paimon feel so nervous all of a sudden? <laughs> Don't worry, it's just a firework, come on! What's the worst that could happen? We'll give it a try! Thanks, Yoimiya! Hmm, pretty much how I thought. There are loads and loads of people. If one of them spots me, I'll get caught. We need to get rid of them, or I won't be able to sneak inside. After I get the document, let's meet back at Komari Tea House, okay? Also, if I do get caught, please come rescue me. Is this really a good idea? Uh, anyway, let's make our way to the statue. Careful does it, watch out for guards and don't get caught. Well, how did it go? Well done. Let's wait for news from Sayu. <sighs> I know exercise helps you grow, but this was a little too much exercise. I feel so dizzy. Everyone is spinning. No, I can't sleep yet. There was something important I was supposed to do first. Oh, right, yeah, I got it! I didn't know how to find the document you guys were talking about, so I just swiped a whole bunch of stuff that looks suspicious. Here you go. Whew, I'm going to sleep now. My lady, what are we looking at? This sealed envelope must be an official report that the Tenryo Commission is preparing to present to the Shogun. In addition, we have... correspondence with the Fatui. It seems that Gujiaya was right. They have been fomenting unrest behind the scenes. This should be ample evidence. Please take them to Gujiaya. I trust she will have a plan for the next step. I will also gather some people to try and root out the rest of the Fatui and Inazuma. Still... Mind yourself when you face the Shogun. I still get goosebumps just thinking about her trying that blade. <sighs> Again, we'll just have to trust Gujiai. She is close to the Shogun, so maybe she will have a way. Uh, if Paimon remembers correctly, it should be time for our meeting with Yaimiko soon. Let's pack up our things and get ready to head to the Grand Narukami Shrine. Lady Guji, here I am. As promised. Rest assured, I came here alone and told no one about this trip. I knew you would keep your promise after all. I'm sure you've barely been able to take your mind off it these past few days. Have you managed to get any sleep at all? I... I... You're quite mistaken. I would never doubt the leaders of my clan. So, where is your proof? Ah, how wonderful. Everyone's keeping their promises today. Oh, 
You wouldn't believe what we had to go through to get our hands on this stuff. Hand them to Sara. She can examine them for herself. What is this? I see this document bears the official seal of the head of the Kujo clan. And it doesn't look like a forgery. I don't understand. Not a single word about the resistance, Sangonomia, or the situation on the front line. What about the soldiers who gave their lives on the front line? Or the hardship endured by the people? Do they deserve no mention? Utter disregard for human life. Why would they want to hide it? For the sake of the Vision Hunt decree, of course. Don't you think the Shogun might reconsider her policy if all of the things you just mentioned appeared in this report? So, the Tenryo Commission... They are deliberately deceiving the Shogun? Yes. Now, who else do you think might be benefiting from the Vision Hunt decree? This is a letter from the Tenryo Commission to the Fatui! The head of the Kujo clan kept this a secret from the Shogun to you! Well, the things you wanted to see, but also wished not to see, are here before you. Surely, you aren't planning to turn a blind eye to them? So everything I've ever held on to, it's all... How could they? Ugh! This betrayal is unforgivable! Takayuki, you've got some explaining to do! Kujosara seems pretty angry, huh? Looks like our Tenryo Rebellion is successfully underway! Yep, yep! Let's catch up with her! Hold on, Traveler. There's something else we need to discuss. Huh? Last time you entered the Plain of Euthymia, it was in front of the statue of the Omnipresent God, correct? You must find a way to recreate the circumstances of that day. If you can get the Raiden Shogun to open her heart to you once more before the statue of the Omnipresent God, you will have the opportunity you need. Take this with you as a farewell gift. What is it? The Omamori from the Grand Narukami Shrine are very potent indeed. I thought I'd put one aside for you. <laughs> if you find yourself at your wit's end, take it out and see what happens. Maybe your prayers will be answered, and all your problems will disappear in the blink of an eye. Or if you ever think about me during your journey, take it out, won't you? Who knows? Maybe I'll just end up appearing right in front of you. Cut it out, Fox Lady! This isn't the time or place to be poking fun at the Traveler! <laughs> I'm sorry. Well then, time for you to face my hopeless fool of a friend. I'm counting on you. You followed me here? You've got guts, I'll give you that. Since you are a witness, I suppose I can shield you from arrest. At least until I have received an explanation from Takayuki. But if it turns out that you have been deceptive in this matter, then not only will you be arrested immediately, but you'll also be charged with one more crime. Do I make myself clear? Hmm. Good. Stop! Sara, have you gone insane? How dare you disregard my orders? M Master, I... Go on, ask him! Don't let him intimidate you! Master Takayuki, I've seen the report to the throne and the letter to the Fatui. Please, tell me why. So this is how my documents went missing from headquarters. You stole them. Should I take your words to mean that... These documents were not forgeries? They were really penned by your own hand. Please tell me, Master. I need to know. Has the Tenryo Commission really betrayed the Shogunate? Hmm. Yes, I have dealings with the Fatui, and yes, the report you saw was penned by my hand. <laughs> he just came right out and admitted it. The diplomats from Snezhnaya promised a very generous reward indeed. And all they requested of me in return was to see that the Vision Hunt decrees upheld. For too long, the Kujo clan's position has been coveted by so many. There is no shortage of clans who would tear us down at the first opportunity. So, when the chance arose to gain the backing of another powerful nation and crack down on our enemies at the same time, 
It appeared to me to be an excellent deal. I simply saw no need to inform you, Sara. But... you worship the Shogun. How can you betray her after all this time and act like it's nothing? Betrayal? How can you call this a betrayal? The Fatui may think they are using me, but the reverse is true. What could they possibly hope to achieve? When the lightning strikes in Inazuma, they shall fall to their knees and tremble! Paralyzed by fear and trepidation. After all, none can contend with the supreme power of the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi! Yeah! He doesn't worship the Raiden Shogun herself, but her power is a warrior! Especially the Muso no Hitotachi. In fact, he seems to be way too into it. But Master, what about loyalty? Ever since I was adopted by the Kujo clan, you taught me the importance of loyalty from servants to their superiors. But it's clear to me now that you wanted my loyalties to stop with the Kujo clan. So you were scared that I would betray you one day? You hypocrite! Preaching about virtue just to mask your own wretched selfishness! Selfishness? I am but safeguarding the eternity of the Kujo clan. I'm quite sure the Almighty Shogun would be sympathetic to that. As would the former head of our clan. Uh, hate to say it, but his ego is getting in the way. If he thinks the Kujo clan is a match for the Fatui, Paimon thinks he's in for a nasty surprise. I've doubted the Vision Hunt decree in the past. I asked myself, is this truly the correct thing to do, even though it goes against what I know in my heart to be right? But I chose to obey the Shogun. For as long as she leads the way, who among us is qualified to judge between right and wrong when we have not yet reached the end of the path? But now I realize that the path of eternity is one without end, while this path it has long since been defiled by your selfish ways. So I'm going to tell the Shogun the truth about all this. If nothing else, my conscience will be clear. <laughs> Stubborn and futile. Report to the Shogun if you so wish. The Kujo clan's position is now unshakable and nothing you can do will change this. The Shogun is at Tenshukaku receiving a Shnezhnayan diplomat. A harbinger by the name of Signora. Signora's the one behind all this? Ugh, not her again! Way back in Rito, Lady Hiragi said something about the Kanjo Commissioner meeting with an arrogant sounding woman. <sighs> we should have known. A diplomat from Snezhnaya? Well, if she thinks she's leaving Inazuma in one piece, she's got another thing coming. She's gonna go barge into Tenshukaku right now? You can say that again! Alright then, let's do this! The way people charge in here as they please, so uncivilized. If I didn't know this was Tenshukaku, I might have mistaken it for some kind of street market. Have you learned your lesson now? The right to punish Inazumans for their crimes is mine alone, not yours, Signora. Then I apologize, Almighty Shogun. I know, I know, you can't get me out of your mind. But you really don't need to call my name all the time. Don't go thinking I'm surprised to see you here. I'm well aware that you hate me, with the way you follow me around like a dark shadow. Ah, so you came to expose my crimes in front of the Shogun? <laughs> I'm just a Snezhnayan diplomat. I'm afraid I have no idea what you're talking about. She doesn't take us seriously at all! Stop talking about people and things that I care nothing about. 
They were nobodies to begin with, and their names will be forgotten. But now, at least, they get to be building blocks in the grand revolution to realize eternity. Is that not the greatest honor they could hope for in their tiny little lives? Almighty Shogun, do correct me if I'm wrong. Hmm. That's ancient history. You certainly love to hold a grudge. The Tsaritsa's dream is the noblest and purest thing in all the world. These other mundane details you insist on mentioning? They're just necessary sacrifices. That's all. You? Stop me? <laughs> For what it's worth, I've grown tired of seeing you around as well. But I didn't have you down as someone quite so... Foolhardy. Before you go saying something you can't take back, remember that you're Inazuma's most wanted criminal. I suggest you consider your circumstances very carefully. Charging into Tenshukaku uninvited and lecturing me in front of the Shogun wasn't the brightest move. Don't you think it's time you stopped digging? I'm not sure you realize quite how much distance there is between us, both in status and in strength. I challenge you to a duel before the throne! <sighs> Proceed. My, you're full of surprises today. So you've learned to make the law of the land work for you too, hmm? I'll admit that I never expected to be in a situation where the two of us were on equal footing. You are aware that the loser must die. Are you sure this is what you want? Traveler! <laughs> then I will deign to share this last dance with you. Till death do us part! A lesson on harbinger power and elegance? <laughs> As you wish. I am diplomat. You know what happens if you lay a finger on me. I swear, if you strike me, I will make sure... The Fatui will make sure that your precious Inazuma... Stop! I order you! And you! Filthy rats! All of you! You are the enemy of eternity. <laughs> but as the victor, I acknowledge your honor. Therefore, I shall allow you to leave Tenshukaku alive. <sighs> There will always be those who dare to brave the lightning's glow.
We meet again. Indulge my curiosity. What is the reason that I find you standing here before me once again? Do you hope your foolhardiness will shelter those people? Or was it simply a means of seeking an audience with me? Oh? <laughs> Surely you didn't rouse me from my state of eternal meditation only to tell me this. <laughs> if so, then you underestimate me. I am quite well informed about the Vision Hunt Decree. Not so. Only everything that pertains to eternity. The Vision Hunt Decree has my tacit approval. The Fatui's actions thus far do not constitute a threat to eternity. Otherwise, they would have been purged long ago. Individual ambition is inherently incompatible with eternity. What you might not realize is that all too often, People have far more to lose by chasing their dreams. Consider this. No one will lose their life on account of having their vision taken away. Rather, those who have lost their lives are the ones who insisted on pursuing their own aspirations, are they not? Traveler, your existence is unique in my eyes. There seems to be limitless uncertainty in you. To put it another way, you are the furthest thing from eternity. So, I won't insist that you comprehend the meaning of my actions. What matters is that I tread the path of eternity on my people's behalf. That's right. Huh. I'm surprised you understand it so well. Anyway, you're looking for a chance to shake my will, aren't you? Hmm. So be it. Well then, you who would defy eternity, time for you to enlighten me. <laughs> Dear me, aren't you cutting it rather close? Hmm? Miko, this was your doing? <sighs> now, now. Don't forget who taught you how to place your consciousness in objects. Surely you don't think your ambition alone is enough to shake A's will, do you? Though you alone are here, they too have ambitions, which they long since entrusted to you. Now then, close your eyes. I hope we can abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. You've lost, eh? <sighs> yes, I have. Why can you not trust your people, and in the power of their ambitions? These ambitions have transcended space and time. They are something that no one can snuff out. Is this the lesson you learned from your journey in Liyue? 
There are nations where humans cast their god aside and stride forward. So are we to just abandon the notion of progress for the sake of wishful thinking? You and I have both witnessed the great loss that progress can bring. Eternity. Eternity is the only way. When lightning flashes, it casts a shadow. My name means shadow. With my blade, I purged all obstacles to progress. And yet, something was lost with each step forward. In the end, I even lost her. The tales are still retold in the shade of every Thunder Sakura. But the wounds left on our nation by that terrible loss still ache. Never stop searching, even if only for a brief flash of light. If nothing else, we have the present moment. She said that once. But I've seen a nation stride forward and lose everything to the heavenly principles. Perhaps only if time stands still will the lightning's glow never fade. The present moment is a fragile illusion. Only eternity can bring us closer to the heavenly principles. I am no longer the shadow. Mine is the most supreme and noble form. Let power over the realm be vested within me. In this form shall I honor my subject's dream, for a land of eternity, unchanging forevermore. The heavenly principles. Irrelevant nonsense as far as I'm concerned. When all's said and done, all you really want is to protect your beloved Inazuma forever and ever. Isn't that right? <laughs> that would be something of an oversimplification. But is this nation worth existing for eternity? Stripped of ambitions, stripped of the potential for change, it does nothing more than simply... exist. It is a hollow shell of a nation. Hmm. I wonder what loss would it really be to anyone if such a nation were destroyed? Miko, retract your words. Never changing eternity is the promise I made to my people. But what your people need from you is not your promises. They want your attention. Your divine gaze. Huh. You mean visions? Humans have a lifespan of barely a hundred years. They cannot afford to bear any extra losses. But I have experienced it all. That is why I have chosen to guide them along the correct path toward eternity. Oh. <sighs> But eternity is far too cruel a fate for you, eh? Uh, for me? Not only have you stopped paying attention to the world, but you have stopped paying attention to yourself. It must have been terribly lonely here, all alone, for centuries on end. But it is necessary. You will miss much by refusing progress. You seek to prevent loss, but have you considered all you are losing by remaining here in stasis for all eternity? You are obviously lonely, and yet, for the sake of eternity, you choose to stretch your loneliness out to infinity. Tell me this. Why is the sky here that was once so dark glowing again? Why now? This is your plane of euthymia. It's your inner world. So it can only mean that you are happy to see me again. You have found the loneliness here unbearable for a long time now, haven't you? I... Uh, have nothing to say to that. <laughs> but I have so much to say to you. Let me tell you all that has happened over the last few centuries. <laughs> How long will that take? As a fox envoy, I have an excellent memory. I recall every detail of the last few centuries with 
perfect clarity. So it will probably take me another few centuries to relay it to you. <laughs> Miko, I never thought I would have the chance to meet with you like this again. <sighs> Seeing you again is a change to eternity. And a very nice surprise. <laughs> Since you are willing to admit that, I suppose that means we can still be friends? <laughs> what a childish conversation this is. Anyway... Now that I have been defeated by you and your plan, I will honor your wish to abolish the Vision Hunt Decree. But, with regards to eternity, and the question of whether this nation should move forward, I need time to give it some thought. <laughs> you are the one who's been acting like a child from the very beginning. As promised, the Raiden Shogun abolished the Vision Hunt Decree. Finally, her people's wishes penetrated her locked heart. Beyond the plain of Euthymia, she saw what eternity means in the eyes of the world. When one's fervent ambition burns brightly, the gods will cast their gaze upon you. Some ambitions have the power to heal wounds, to bring victory, to inspire hope. But some ambitions outlive their masters long after the soul ascends. They remain as they were in the beginning. Burning bright and true. For all eternity. So what did you guys do in the Raiden Shogun's Plain of Euthymia anyway? Is the Vision and Decree abolished? Oh, gotcha! Paimon was super worried, you know. So, maybe the reason Yaimiko is looking for us now is because she wants to thank us! Let's go find her! Why, hello, if it isn't the Triumphant Traveler. And why might you be visiting the shrine? A sign of piety, perhaps. You literally told us to come meet you here! <laughs> I was just joking. I've been waiting for you. Seems like someone's in a pretty good mood. Mm-hmm. Catching up with an old friend I hadn't seen in years was truly delightful. By the way, I heard that you had a duel before the throne, with a Fatui Harbinger no less. Courageous and astute. I must say, I am most impressed. Defeating Signora head-on in a duel means that your strength exceeds my expectations. Still, you did end up victorious. I gather congratulations are in order. <sighs> sure feels good to finally thwart the Fatui plan for once. They caused plenty of trouble along the way, but at the very least, they didn't get their hands on another Gnosis. Wait a second. Did you say Gnosis? As in, the little thing that looks something like a chess piece? Yep, that's the one. You've seen one too? Gnosis belong to the Seven. They're what keep them connected to Celestia. Oh. W what's wrong? I handed that over. You did what now? Well, how else was I supposed to save your skin from the Balladeer exactly? The Balladeer is number six of the Fatui Harbingers. In terms of strength, he's superior to Signora. I'm not the kind of person who risks life and limb for any old reason. It, it, you did, uh, uh, for once, Baima just does not know what to say! After A created her puppet vessel, she no longer had anywhere to put it. 
As her erstwhile closest friend, A handed it over to me, and I've kept it in the Grand Narukami Shrine ever since. She no longer needs the power of the Gnosis, and in any case, she tells me she has severed ties with Celestia. Thus the Gnosis became not only useless, but also a potential source of conflict. Is that not a good bargain, exchanging it for the one at the core of the plan? Judging by the results, at least, I dare say I struck a good deal. <laughs> uh, when you put it like that, Paimon has to agree. The Traveler is worth more than a Gnosis. <sighs> well, what's done is done. And I hardly think we'll be getting it back now. Let's leave the past in the past. Um, so, anyway, you still haven't told us why you called us here today. <laughs> it's to thank you. Really? You intend to travel all over to Vat, and the time has come for the Inazuma leg of your trip to come to an end, has it not? As a mark of my gratitude, I will answer any questions you may have about the road ahead or the events of the past. What would you like to know about? That puppet was built with technology that has been lost to time. Perhaps she, as a god, is the only one privy to the knowledge of its origins. Still, there is one other thing on this topic that I suspect you may be curious to know. Before A began modifying her own godly form, she took it upon herself to create a prototype puppet. So, you mean there are three Raiden Shokens? No. The prototype was merely a proof of concept. Its appearance and intellect were not based on A. It was a test. The original plan was for A to simply discard it. But perhaps A thought this to be too cruel, because in the end she chose only to seal the power within it. Later, this puppet wandered Inazuma as an ordinary human male with his own consciousness. Until... the Fatui took an interest in him. Ugh! Not the Fatui! Some eccentric geniuses in the ranks of the Fatui made adjustments to the prototype, not only unsealing his power, but very likely rendering him even more formidable than his original specifications. Mm-hmm. The object of divine creation is now the one who has taken possession of the Gnosis. And the prototype puppet is now known as the Balladeer. What the... what a crazy story! It is, isn't it? Who can say whether it's coincidence or destiny? I'm surprised an outlander like you is aware that there was once a change of Electro Archon. Few citizens of Inazuma are aware of this. Morax told us. He said that the Electro Archon Ball has passed away. Yes. The truth of the matter is that there were two twin gods, Ball and Beelzebul. Twin gods? They won the Archon War together. And when Baal established the Shogunate, Beelzebul became her Kagemusha, or Shadow Warrior. In other words, she acted as Baal's body double. Beelzebul is A, with whom we are now both acquainted. Baal's name was Makoto. As far as the world was aware, there were not two, but one. They complemented each other, and they ruled Inazuma jointly. So there was no need for the public to know the truth. In fact, the name Ball and the title of Raiden Shogun was understood to refer to both of them. Right up until... Until what? Makoto died several hundred years ago in a war that I was not personally involved in. Since then, A has assumed the Shogunate. Losing her sister must have been super hard on A. That was when A began to change. Makoto was her greatest loss. Paimon feels like she understands A a lot better now after finding that out. So what kind of god was Makoto? I didn't spend a great deal of time with her, but my impression was... she was a gentle god, who in each moment cherished the beauty of what was before her. Wow... Sorry, I haven't a clue. I'm also unfamiliar with the god you describe. But if you still have doubts about A, I would say they are misplaced. Not only does she not fit your description, but she voluntarily gave up her Gnosis long ago, severing her ties with Celestia in the process. That's good to hear. 
Otherwise, given that I'm her familiar, it could have made our relationship rather awkward, don't you think? Don't worry. We aren't looking to pick a fight with you. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. May you soon discover the truth behind it all. As for your sister's whereabouts, I will use all the resources at my disposal to investigate it, and I will also borrow some of Ayato's people from the Shiumatsuban. I'll let you know if I find out anything. Consider it part of my means of thanking you. After leaving Inazuma, hmm, I think it would be easiest for you to go to Sumeru. Ooh, Sumeru! We've run into loads of scholars from there on our journey so far. Yes, well, Sumeru is the land of the God of Wisdom, where the quest for wisdom and knowledge is never-ending. But their obsession gives rise to some truly inexplicable things. For example, in Sumeru, knowledge is holistically managed as a resource. Knowledge is a resource? Yes. I don't know whether it was the sages or Lesser Lord Kusanali who came up with the idea. Lesser Lord Kusanali? That's a cute name. Oh, you haven't heard. Lesser Lord Kusanali is the deity in whom the people of Sumeru place their faith. It's their chosen term of endearment for her. I'm sure you must have some things to discuss with her, too. I wish you all the best. Are you sure? Okay, then. Oh, Traveler. Do you still have the Omamori I gave you? Keep it safe. Is that all you intend to do with it? There was me thinking that you might hang it around your neck to show off to the world, telling everyone who inquired that it was given to you by none other than Yai Miko, the wise and beautiful. Who in their right mind would do that? <laughs> okay, I'll stop. Now a question for you. Traveler, what is your ambition? I see. But that is merely a small goal, based on what preoccupies you here and now. Your ambition should be something that transcends the world below and the starry sky above. Something that shines in unison with fate itself. Perhaps the reason you do not possess a vision is that such an ambition has yet to be engendered within you. It's a possibility. Continue on your journey, and maybe that moment will come to pass. of the electro